This short video will describe some of the time-saving features built into iLab. Probably the most widely used of these is to be able to clone an experiment, to take one of your own experiments or one of your colleagues' experiments and to create a new experiment which is a copy of the earlier experiment. Maybe you're repeating some work or doing something similar and you can save time by cloning that earlier experiment. So here I have an experiment and I'm going to repeat this work so I'm going to clone it. And all I have to do is go up to the clone button on the toolbar, click on the clone button and the new experiment is then opened. So here we see the new experiment. It has a new experiment number it has you as the author even if you've cloned a colleague's experiment and it has the new time when you start created the new experiment there is no title a new title has to be entered all the other sections are identical to the previous experiment of course we can change the project if we want to and we can edit the sections add new sections using the section toolbox or delete sections. So that enables us to reuse an entire experiment. Another very powerful feature of iLabber is that you can always copy and paste sections either within or between experiments. So I can take a section, for example this section here with an Excel table I can click on the copy button in the section toolbar. I can go to my other experiment, select the section where I want the new section to be pasted underneath and click on the paste button. And a copy of the other section is now inserted into this experiment. And this was an Excel file, so now there is a new Excel file in an exact copy in this new experiment. So that's useful for copying sections on once or twice but if you have a section which you want to use several times then you can store it in my sections. So for example we can take this section it's highlighted with the blue around it we right click on the title and go add to my sections. Now, if we go to the My Sections toolbox on the left hand side, you will see that this section is here. This section can be now be added to any experiment in exactly the same way as we add ordinary sections from the section toolbox. You just double click on it and the section comes into the experiment underneath the highlighted section. So here we can save sections and use them again and again, adding them to various experiments. If you no longer need these, you can of course delete them by right clicking and going delete. And then it will be deleted from your My Sections toolbox. So try and use these features to save time writing up your experiments.